If you watched the previous training video on learning how to import an XML file, let's now learn how to export an XML file or to an XML file. So the example I want to do here is, let's do double click, something simple, products, Tiki Torch. Let's go ahead and close out and to export it as an XML file, come up here, click on the external data tab, go to the export group, and we want to go ahead and do XML, click on that. And then let's choose a place, browse, that's on the desktop, click save, click OK, and select what data information will be exported. Well, the raw data, and then the structure, which is the XSD file. And then this one right here, presentation of your data, XSL, it'll include any formatting and also export it as a .html file using data from the XML file. I don't want to do that. I want to keep it simple. Let's just keep it these two and click OK. dokie. That's it. Close out. Minimize that down to the taskbar. And it's these two guys right here. And I can see the extensions on my computer because I allowed it to show me the extension .xsd. And then when I select that one .xml, of course, you can hover over it. You can see the type in the pop-up XML document. But in any case, if you want to see the extensions, you can watch my Windows training video on extensions and how to view them or hide them or if you run into problems that you're trying to double click and open up a file and it doesn't know what program to open it up in well you gotta find out which program it belongs to and I show you how to tag it to that program in any case let's go ahead and take a look at these so here's the raw data we can right click on that one at least and open it with the notepad and there's my raw data Tiki Torch see there's the product and then the price and there it is, 1995. So raw data. And then for the XSD file that contains the structure, we can't right click on it. So we got to click on the start button, open up Notepad, and then do file to open within Notepad to go to the desktop. And on the desktop, it's looking at the TXT extensions. We need to say look at all extensions or all files. And there's the XSD right there. Double click. And there's the structure for the data that organizes it. So when somebody else wants to import that raw data, here's how it structures it into those fields accordingly. As you can see really quick, the name of the field is product ID and the data type is auto number. And it's going to be unique, so no duplicates. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.